Shaboy Sai, stay tuned. There's a Gavaldiga podcast, Rabbi Steve Geller, does a Gavaldiga Zach, and that'll be coming out this week. Torah Giants on Chumash. Shalom of Rach, and welcome to the weekly piece on the Parsha from Torah Giants on Chumash, written by Rabbi Yitzchak Mayor Gunman, the Rabbi Meredith of the of Rockway. Sit back and Welcome to Torah Giants on Chumash. I'm Steve Geller. For those of you who've been watching these videos, you know I rarely get too excited about Rabbi Goodman's pieces. At most, maybe it happens once a week. But we're in luck, because today is the day. I think you're really going to love this week's gem, because as he so often does, Rabbi Goodman uncovers a remarkable hidden treasure that we may never have been familiar with. And our own Rev. Eitan Feinerschlita shared the excitement on this week's piece, and we are blessed to have his thoughts as well. Az Yashir Moshe Uvne Yisrael. Then Moshe and Bnei Yisrael sang Es Hashira Hazos Lashem. This song to Hashem. The Midrash in Shmos Rabbah comments on this verse, quoting another well-known pasuk: Piha Pascha V'Chachma. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and the law of kindness is on her tongue. From the day that Hashem created the world until Israel stood at the sea, we do not find a person who sang a song to Hashem other than Moshe and Bnei Yisrael. The Midrash interprets the pasuk: Piha Pascha V'Chachma, and she opens her mouth with wisdom. Vesoris Chesed Al Lashona, and the law of kindness is on her tongue. According to the Midrash, opening the mouth is doing something entirely new in history, namely sing Shira. Elsewhere in the Gemara, we find that King Hezkiahu, a potential candidate to be Mashiach, was disqualified because he did not sing Shira after he was miraculously saved from the huge attacking army of Sancherev. And why were the Avos not condemned for the same reason? Rabbi Goodman suggests an idea called Sinor, channel, which is discussed in many volumes and prominently in Kabbalah. The analogy is seen in Shmuel Beis, where Raubach explains the word Sinor to mean a drainage channel where water flows. In our context, this is the concept that great righteous people develop a new holy dimension, a new level of a mitzvah, and this becomes a channel for that dimension or mitzvah to spread and develop to even higher levels. The one who conceives of the idea is the pioneer who sets a new precedent, while others who follow afterwards are then benefiting from this new channel to move closer to Hashem. A classic example of this might be Avraham Avinu, who created in his time the new tzinor of Hachnasus Orchem, inviting strangers into one's home for food and shelter without receiving any payment. We can appreciate how this must have been a revolutionary idea in the days where there were no grocery stores or takeout and everything had to be grown, bartered, or purchased from farmer's markets. It was because of Avraham's profound kindness to strangers, and to this day his children are especially attuned to this tzinor, to the amazement of non-Jews all over the world. Crossing the sea on dry land, Bnei Israel and Moshe created a new tzinor, singing praises to Hashem out of gratitude, which was something never done before, as the Midrash says. Although we cannot criticize those who did not create a new tzinor, we may indeed condemn King Chizkiyahu for not following this precedent, the tzinor of Moshe that was already in existence, and he was surely aware of it from his vast knowledge of the Torah. We can also recognize David HaMelech, the great singer of Israel, because he created a new tzinor for Shira to God, not out of gratitude for blessings done to us, but even in times of trouble and tribulation. Within David HaMelech's first ten psalms are already two instances of this type of Shira, one where he was fleeing from his son Avshalom, who was attempting to kill him, and the other when Bathsheba had a stillborn child after her first encounter with David. This tzinor of David HaMelech is surely the one that has helped countless Jews sing Ani Mamim even as they were being led to gas chambers during the Holocaust, and countless times of personal and national tragedies even up to today. And certainly because of the sad fact that most of our history has been in Gullahs, often in hostile countries, the Tzinor of David is more fundamental to Jews for their survival as it gives us the ability to dream, hope, and sing even in times of sorrow and misfortune. And as promised, Rav Eitan Feiner, the Rav of Congregation Knesset Yisrael, the White Shul in Farakaway, had some beautiful insights into this powerful concept. Shalom Ravacha, Yakira, Yedidai, Vahufa, the song of B'nai Yisrael, the idea of a tzinor, who were the ones to introduce a whole new concept? Avram Vino introduces a whole new concept of chesed, specifically Yachimus Yisrochem to the world, has many sforum right, Ah, Yosef HaTzadik, why is he the tzadik with Heya Yedia? Other people might have done various displays of tzitkes, but to be tested, and the Indian of promiscuity, of immorality, like Yosef HaTzadik being lured and seduced day after day by the wife of 
Potiphar trying to lure and seduce him into sin, and he overcomes it. I people say when in Vegas, what stay, happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens in Mitzrayim stays in Mitzrayim. No other Jews around, no one's around, nobody in the world would have ever known about it. Yes, God would have known about it. Who introduces to the entire world that even in Chadri Chadarim, even in the privacy, and no one you think is going to know about it, it's still Makanishim Shemayim. That's Sitka, it's not Stam, but with the Heya Yedia, with the grand article, the Yosef is the Tzadik. Hi, many people have also overcome temptation, but the one who introduced it, who served as the Tziner to the world, and he gets crowned with that choice appellation, Hi, Yosef HaTzadik. Same way, Rechaim Elohim, in his commentary, Rechaim and Perkei, was Perkei Mishnah Gimel. He says, why is it that Mishnah Beis and Perkei told us ten doros, ten generations we know out of Rome? We get to the ten tests, and it says, Hasor Nisionis Nisas Avram Avinu. Why is he referred to Avinu? Because why is it that Jews could give up their lives? Why is it that Jews could give up the lives of the children to sanctify the name of God? So many people have done it, as Rechaim So why is Avram Avinu credited? Big deal. You know why? Because he bought that concept into the world. He introduced it. Kim Shanesh allowing himself to be cast into the fiery furnace. He introduced that concept of Mesimus Nefesh into the world. I had to give up your child's life to sanctify the name of God. People giving up their children so that they wouldn't go and convert to Christianity. Where does it come from? Right? Sechaim Elohim. Akedas Yitzchak. The display to sacrifice your love to do the rats and Hashem. Uh, that is the Tzino, the one who introduces the concept. In fact, a great story of Chaim Elohim. One time he heard the Vilna go on his red move up and he shared a gorgeous insight on a posting in Chumash and he was floored he was well and later that day he's walking down the street and Vilna and he hears an 8th grade Rebbe say over the same explanation comes back to the girl he says I don't know I thought it was such a profound uh, deep insight I heard the 8th grade Rebbe say the same thing he says of course he could say it but I brought it into the world after I introduced it to the world once it's in the world then it's here for the taking Avramino introduced he was the Tzinor once he's the Tzinor he's the pipe people channeled it down to this world now we can tap in to it. That's the idea of Rabbi Sai. Everybody else, you could also be the Tzinar for something new. That's why Tzinar is Osios Rotson, as many as far point out. You have a Rotson Apinimia. What is your Rotson? Where there's a will, there's a way? Rotson, right? So you say, Chaisa Chavras, Gematria 346, Gematria Shemo. Your name, your core essence, your identity. Shemo, Shin Mem Vav 346, a Rotson 346. Everyone can be a Tzinar for something, but you gotta have a Rotson. If you have a Rotson, to want to introduce a new concept, a new idea into the world. If it's burning in your pinimius, like it was by Avram Vino, who is bursting with chesed, he's the tzino for chesed, Yosef for tzinkas, Moshe for shira. If the rotzen's burning inside, through your rotzen, you could create a tzino that attaches you to the shefa, to all the glorious inspiration from above, acts as that figurative channel that brings it down from the heavens above down to this world. Shemo, your essence, your tafkid, what are you going to bring to the world. Where is your rots and what is your will? Will you be a channel to bring something? Ayyade rots and your coercence, your tafkid, your fate and destiny. What are you? Yes, every Tom, Dick, and Harry, Ruvain, Shimalevi, Sarifko, what are you going to introduce to the world? Dig deep within you, find that rots and apanimi, and turn those letters of rots and around, and you'll spell Tzinar, and through your rots, and if you play with it just a little bit, you too can be the channel for something new, something big. Hatzlach Arab, have an awesome Shabbos because of our Tzalem Elohim, the very image of God within all of our neshamas, we can tap into this divine Kedusha and bring it down to earth. And now we see, according to Refiner, that it starts with Ratzon, our desire to do so. And we can help start your first Ratzon, and that would be to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and most important, hit the share button as it copies the link to this video so you could simply paste it into emails, WhatsApp groups, or your social media of choice. Torah, including these powerful lessons of Tzinor, benefit everyone, and they will all appreciate you for it. And of course, we all help realize the potential of Rabbi Goodman's life's work, Torah Giants on Chumash. We go to Yeshiva to learn, that's Torah. We seek closeness to Gedolim, that's Torah. We daven for inspiration and v'sein chalkenu v'sorasecha, that's Torah. We come up with chidushim in our own learning, that's Torah. Maybe. Share your chidushim. Send your original Torah pieces to torahmaybe at gmail.com or email that address for more information. Also visit www.youtube.com slash at torahmaybe.